So every two by six strip starts off with a four by six and it just gets split in half by the printer, whether you have the DNP RX1 or the high tie or the Mitsubishi, whichever splits it. So um, down below you'll find the template where you can just download this and uh, you can create your own. So this is mine. The way I'm going to start, I'm going to start off uh, creating a Super Bowl theme template. So here we go. I downloaded some items. Alright, so I want this as my background, so I'm going to push Control A or Command A. We're going to copy that. Command C or Control C with uh, Windows. We're going to create a new layer down here. We're going to paste that, Control V. Now we want to go ahead and readjust the size because I want actually the whole thing to be showing. So to get the actual uh, the correct size, you're going to hold down shift so that comes down proportioned. Grab this side, fix it. Make it a little smaller. Okay. All right, now that I have it, go ahead and press enter. Oh, by the way, the way you um, readjust, the side is, readjust the size is control T or command T, Windows or Mac, whatever you're using. Once you got that, um, we're gonna go ahead and layer that. So we're gonna put um, background, BG. We're gonna close that, close the eye to make that disappear. Now we're gonna get the quick selection tool and uh, we're just gonna drag along the white here or black, whatever color it is. See how that's grabbing a bunch of different things? The reason why that's doing that is because you're supposed to click on layer 2. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. Clear that. So I'm going to click on layer 2. We're going to go ahead and drag on the white. And as if you notice, it'll go ahead and grab everything that's in the white. Now what we want to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and hit uh, select, inverse. We're going to go back to the background. We're going to open up the eye. And now we're going to go ahead and hit delete or, es or escape. What, um, I, would, I would say hit delete or escape, whatever is on your, whatever is the back button on your computer. Okay, so now you have pretty much the, the base down for the, for the event. All right, now let's say I want to add some footballs. I'm going to go here, same exact thing. I'm going to go grab the quick selection tool. Whoops. everything that's white. This will grab everything of the color white. All right, and so if you can notice here, make sure you check this outlining. All right, so this is um, obviously we, we don't want this to be connected. So what you're going to do is hit a, uh, I think it's Alt for you guys for Windows or for Mac, it's Option. And then just click down and hold until you get all those areas out. Okay, now that you got that, same thing, we're going to go to Select, we're going to go to Inverse, all right, we're going to hit uh, Command-C or Control-C to copy that, and go back to our template, any size you want, any direction, whatever it is. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and grab that football, just put it right here. Same thing with this one. What we're going to go ahead and do, since we have two sides, we're going to go ahead and duplicate that layer. So it's this little menu button, then duplicate layer. So we're going to label this uh, football2. Okay, so we're going to move that to the side because we are dealing with double strips. Move that there. I'm going to label that one football1. One. The thing about Photoshop is it's always good to add new layers so that, you know, you have... Uh, you have freedom to do whatever you want on here and not affect the other layers. All right, and then um, 
Let's go ahead and add some text in there. Super Bowl. Let's go make that a little bit smaller. Twenty fourteen. Let's make this uh, make it red so it stands out more. All right. Just it is uh, go ahead and hit this little uh, move tool. You could use the arrow pad on your on your keyboard, or you could use your mouse, whatever you'd like. Um, for me, this red doesn't show too much, so what you're going to do is double click on that layer. And you're going to go ahead and hit the stroke. Now you can see it automatically puts the black on there, and you can adjust the stroke of how intense you want it. So you see that, so it looks a little bit different. All right, so now that I got that there, go ahead and hit uh, duplicate layer. Okay, hit okay. I'm going to hold shift, click and drag so that it's proportion. All right, so that's pretty much it. And you guys can get a little, um, you guys can get into it a little bit more by putting, you know, some, make it look nicer, putting a border around these. About, around these. It's as simple as doing that. Um, it's very, it's it's up to you uh, on how you want to present it to your to your clients, or if you want to give them that option. Uh, but remember, your photo booth business, it's all about presentation. So, if your prints look good and your designs look good, then your client your clientele will always return with you. All right. Um, last step, what you're going to do is file. You're going to go ahead and save for web, and you're going to save it as a PNG file, PNG.24, and you're going to hit save. Um, you're going to want to label it overlay and then go ahead and put it into your uh, your folder, your master folder or wherever you're going to want it. Just go ahead and drag and drop it in there and you're all set. So uh, please go ahead and rate, comment. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, go ahead and contact us on here or visit us on uh, easyphotobooth.com. Uh, remember all of our templates we do provide we do provide free templates and profiles for green screen or video booth anything like that they are available to you uh, free of charge and it's available at photoboothcity.com again photoboothcity.com um, thank you guys for your time